Bloomberg News. Color or no color? If you're about to join the e-reading trend, that's really question number one. Up till now, it hasn't been much of an issue. That's because dedicated e-readers like the Amazon Kindle or Barnes & Noble Nook have basically used the same monochrome digital ink technology. If you wanted color, you were probably looking at something like the Apple iPad, a full-fledged tablet computer at triple the cost. Now Barnes & Noble has upended the debate by introducing the new Nook Color. For $249, which is $100 more than the monochrome model, but half the price of an iPad, you get a bright, backlit, color touch screen that provides a much richer reading experience, especially for nonfiction books with photos, children's books, art books, and the like. The Nook Color is marginally larger than the Kindle, but still slips into a jacket pocket. The biggest difference is that it weighs about a pound, which is more than twice as much as the current model Kindle. On the other hand, it's still lighter than an iPad, and I didn't have any problems with arm fatigue while using it. The Nook uses Wi-Fi to let you browse and buy books from Barnes & Noble's online store. You turn pages either by tapping or swiping the screen. Pressing and holding it for two seconds opens pop-up menus that allow you to do things like highlight a passage, look up a word or term in the built-in dictionary, or use the built-in web browser to go online for more information. Because it uses Google's Android operating system, the Nook Color can run apps and several are built in, including Pandora Internet Radio and a few games. Barnes & Noble says more will follow, but they'll be limited to those that complement or enhance the reading experience. Besides weight and cost, the Nook's biggest drawback compared with digital ink readers is battery life. It claims eight hours of use, which is good for a color LCD tablet, but far less than the Kindle, which can go a month between charges. I did encounter some bugs and quirks. The Nook would occasionally jump forward several pages without my having done anything. And for some books, Barnes & Noble inexplicably prevents you from reorienting the view from portrait to landscape mode. In the end, if all you want is words on a page, the monochrome Kindle is probably still the class of the field. But if you're looking for a richer, more book-like experience, the Nook color really jumps to the head of the pack. For Bloomberg News and Business Week, I'm Rich Jaroslawski. Hear more Bloomberg News reports on the Bloomberg Terminal at AV Go, on Bloomberg Television, and on Bloomberg Radio. Copyright Bloomberg LP 2010.